I'm thrilled. I think uh, it's going to be a super fun competition. I'm ready. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe Jason will help. Hey, Jesus. It'd be the greatest March Madness to, and I like this committee be best year. We got a lot of great people on here, man. What are you filming my fries for? Stop proving I'm eating carbs, all right? God damn it. I'm just on Tinder, so that's really all I care about right now. Get this show started, guys. Thank you very much. You guys are fucking awesome. We've had 136 comedians that want to be on this stage tonight. And it's come down to this. But for a man to feel love, he needs respect. And I can't respect you if you can't put up a fucking shelf. <laughs> so I was talking a lot about sexual tension. Uh, I have food allergies. <laughs> I dated this one girl, she was a model, that was her job. She had a birthmark right here. Only physical imperfection. But when you're that beautiful, little shit kills me. So she'd be really sad she'd be like, oh, I hate it. And I'd be like, oh, I hate it too. Uh, <laughs> but when she was asleep, I would just look at that birthmark and I'd be like, you're the reason I'm here, man. You are keeping me in the game. <laughs> I had a girl bring up me once uh, and leave me for another guy immediately. I don't know if it's ever happened to any of you. Uh, someone leaves you for somebody else right away. If it does, people act like it's worse for you. They treat you like a loser, okay? It's not worse. It's way worse logically when somebody leaves you for nobody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and having a roommate is like having a pet boa constrictor with a giant hole in its cage. <laughs> I just walk into every room like, where is it? <laughs> For those that don't know, if somebody says your guest the size at the airport, uh, it means you're too fat to fit in one seat. And you have to buy a second seat. And honestly, like, when I think about it, if I'm taking up more space, you know what, I think I should pay more. I'm totally fine with that. The only thing that bothers me, though, is it's not fair. Because it doesn't work the other way. Like, you're not going to tell a short dude, uh, hey, little buddy. <laughs> You're gonna save 50 bucks because we're gonna fucking throw you in the overhead. Doesn't go that way. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't tell a blind person, "Hey, we have a movie on this flight," but since you're a guest of darkness, you're gonna get a discount. So we got Sarah, we got Jay. Judges, mark your uh, ballots and audience. It's time for you guys to give your vote. I haven't been in a haunted house in a while. I forgot how awkward they are. Because I forgot that when the guy scares you, he doesn't go anywhere. You just stay in the room with the dude. Do you forget that? You walk in, he's like, boom, like, ah! Okay, thanks, that was really, that was really scary this year. I definitely want to date a girl that's my friend, because a friend will have your back. Like, if you get hammered, a friend will be like, oh, dude, he looks hammered, we should, we should get him a bucket, dude, he may get sick. But a best friend, a best friend will be like, oh, dude, he looks hammered, we should, we should get a black marker and draw a big dick on his face and then yeah. upload it to Facebook and tag his mom and his dad and his grandparents <laughs> and his boss and say racist shit and try and get him fired. That'll be fucking hilarious. In the 2014 March Comedy Madness champion, J.I. Dan Marino of this contest now, in the sense that uh, some people would say a record-settingly great job that came out completely unvictorious and never, and it will forever tarnish my reputation. Yay! Say March Comedy Madness. Is there what ATM do I go to for this? <laughs>